welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Joanna and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of materials. I've placed this question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's begin. The diagram below shows a rubber hose. Which property of the rubber hose allows it to be coiled up as shown in the diagram? So what's a rubber hose for? It allows water to be sprayed out, either to water your plants or to wash your car. So when students answer this question, they immediately choose it is waterproof and choose option 3 as their answer. Yes, it's true that the rubber hose that allows water to be sprayed out have to be waterproof. Otherwise, the rubber hose would absorb all the water and no water would come out of it. However, this answer is wrong. Why wrong? Because students fail to read the question properly. It says which property of the rubber hose allows it to be coiled up as shown in the diagram. In order for the rubber hose to be coiled up, the material cannot be stiff. It has to be flexible. So it has to be flexible. Why? So that it can coil around the pole without breaking. So the answer is actually number two. It is flexible. So a material to make an object may have many necessary properties. However, it is important for students to take note of the property that is most relevant to what the question is asking you about. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we made, click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!